Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna show you how to blur a background in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, we are on the edit page. And as you can see, I have two clips in my timeline. I have the logo of DaVinci Resolve and I have a screenshot of me editing a clip in the color page of DaVinci. Uh, this one in the first track gonna be the background. And on the second track right here, we have the logo. And I want to create separation between those two by blurring the background, so the screenshot. To do that, we're gonna go over to Effect Library right here. Then we're gonna go down to Open Effects, And here, as you can see, Resolve FX Blur. We have a couple of blur options. We're gonna run through it in a second. But first, I want you to go down right here and select Open FX Overlay. By default, it's gonna be in Transform, but please select Open FX Overlay so you're gonna be able to basically move the blur around when it's a directional blur. All right, so now let's bring a blur into the timeline. We're gonna drop the Gaussian blur directly into our clip. Right here, as you can see, it blur the entire background, but the logo, it's still all right because we only drop it onto this clip. If you want to adjust the strengths or make uh, some adjustment to the blur, you can go over to Effect here in the inspector and you can adjust the strengths right here. You can make some adjustment uh, by adding some black frame all around. Um, you can adjust here the blend, which is basically the opacity uh, or the strength of the overall effect. Um, and that's pretty much it for the Gaussian Blur. I'll let you play around with the parameter. You can also play a bit more with Zoom Blur, Radial Blur that are more directional blur that you can adjust differently. So let's just delete this one and let's bring a Radial Blur, for example, right there. And here is pretty much the same thing. You can adjust the strengths, but the main difference here is that we can adjust the position of the blur. So here by moving this, I can adjust the position of where I want the blur to happen. I'll let you take them out and see what fit better your project. I hope this video was helpful and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.